Joining me now is Veronique Ballot, fashion design instructor at Richard Robinson and Stephanie Ross, fashion designer and graduate of the program. How are the two of you doing? Wonderful. Good, so we have a lot to talk about and behind me I think we have a slew of the Richard Robinson design camp attendees. Yes. How was this year's this camp? Awesome. Was it? It's two weeks, right? Yes. And, uh, and what types of uh, students do you find you get at the camp? Very creative ones. I find they're um, great girls. Mm -hmm. Honestly, great girls, hardworking, uh, very, very inspiring too. I find yeah. them very creative for their age much more than I was at that age. How <laughs> often are you told that to your faces, eh? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> nice. Okay, so uh, we've got four models here today. What are they going to be, what are they wearing? What are they modeling? Uh, they're modeling each a piece that they made during the summer camp, the past two weeks. So you actually so. get to design mm -hmm. a Very piece good. of clothing during that two weeks. Yeah. Isn't it difficult to bring a concept to fruition just in, in two short weeks? Well, we give them the well, we give them the option. We give them the project that they're going to have to do, but they get to choose their own fabrics. They get to choose um, their size, the way they want to stylize mm -hmm. them. So, I mean, they have a few options. We kind of guide them, <laughs> but all in all, I mean, it's it's a learning experience, and we show them how to pick patterns and stuff for at home. After mm -hmm. that, they'll be able more to to do more work at home individually. And okay, yeah. let's take a look at our first gal. Come on down. This is Ellery. And she's wearing a vest. It was the first project that we did. It's a little unfitted vest. And they had the option to do a lace up on the back as well. She chose not to. Is it? It's <laughs> denim, right? Yes. yes. Is that ever nice? Very cool. And you could just throw that over top of anything, really. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, up next. This is Jeanne. And she's wearing the little tunic shirt that they all made. So they got to pick their own fabrics. And is every tunic the same cut, the same sleeves, the same tie around the waist? Yes. Okay, so but the variation the is, in, is in, okay, in yeah. the length and then in the fabric. Okay, uh, that's... the fabric. And they can easily switch out the belt, put a little leather belt, oh, yeah. some accessories, so each one of them can style it a little bit different, but at least the concept is all the same. Oh, that's nice. Very nice. Thank you, my it's dear. It's definitely Anna, a wearable project, which is nice. It, yes, for sure. And this it must be the skirt. Hannah. Yes, this is the Ooh. skirt that they made. It's a little elastic waist skirt. And it had little side pockets too. So they learned how to do a proper fit as well because they had to choose the size of their elastic around their waist, mm -hmm. how long they wanted the skirt. Um, they were obligated to do pockets because obviously we wanted to teach them how to do that. They had to do gathering. Mm -hmm. So it's quite a difficult skirt to do for beginners. That's what I was going to ask you. I would think that the gathering and the pockets in and mm -hmm. of itself would be very tough. But as you can see, they, they did a fabulous oh, job. And again, very wearable. And now that, that's what we wanted to do is create something with them that at least they'll want to wear. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Trendy. And who have we got last? Last year, Maya, and she's wearing two things we did. We taught them how to take an old t-shirt and deconstruct it and make something fun. So this would be a good project for when they're back home. And she's also wearing her skirts she made. So, okay, so we're seeing the same gathering, the same pockets, but a little bit uh, of a longer skirt. A little bit longer, yeah. different fabric. Mm -hmm. Can you show the back of your shirt? They also did a oh, pretty Maya cool taught weave. us how to do this. Really? Yes. She taught you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So no wonder you said inspiring. How often yeah, is it that you absolutely. get a student that actually yeah. teaches you a thing yeah, or two? Absolutely. Is that ever neat? I'm a big fan of cutout if it's done tastefully. Oh yeah, and they all did something different. Is that ever nice? I'm not gonna lie, I went home and pretty much did that to all my t-shirts. To all of them, right? And it's <laughs> a lot of them. really neat the way we spin around just once more, sorry, the way that you've cut out between the owl eyes. It's a wolf, but it looks like an owl. Oh, oh that's what I didn't say. That, we've all been saying that. Her wolf transformed into an owl. Oh, it, it yeah. definitely is a wolf, <laughs> as you can see in the front. <laughs> we all owl. said it. <laughs> Very creative. Let's take a look at all four of the gals one last time. Again, each one of these models wearing a piece that they designed, and I, I guess they, they sewed them, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they did everything. They, they cut their fabric, they pressed their fabric. Pressing is probably their favorite part. Of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, but sarcastically, I was like, I don't know. I don't really care. So we're going to talk more about what pressing is yeah. a little bit later in the show. The girls from Richard Robertson aren't going anywhere. We'll uh, team back up with them in about 15 minutes.